with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. It was a quiet start to your holiday weekend, and it's a quiet evening out there right now. Not even as breezy anymore. As you can see with our Junction City Weather camera, those flags along the street just kind of flapping nicely with that light south breeze out there. But that south wind is still making for a mild evening, even though we've now lost the warmth of the sun. Uh, Topeka is still holding on to 66 degrees right now with just a light south breeze of about 7 miles per hour. There are a few spots still holding on to the 70s at this hour, though. That's the case for Concordia at 72, 71 in Blue Rapids, but you're already down to 63 in Burlington, and it's already 59 degrees in Ottawa. But we won't see much spots Dip below the 50s, though, because of the south wind. Five to even upwards of 18 miles per hour. Generally speaking, we're looking at a 5 to 15 mile per hour range during the night into the early morning tomorrow. By midday, we are looking at that south wind now sustained. 15 to 25 miles per hour, but we could see gusts upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour at times. That means your Easter Sunday is going to be a little bit more on the windy side compared to today, but it's still a warm south wind, and it makes a difference. Even for overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, I think we only get as low as the 50s by the time you head out the door to get to some church services or get your Easter Sunday festivities underway. We're in the 50s to right around 60 degrees. Any lunchtime plans you may have with family and friends are already starting to creep up on the warm side. We're into the 70s, and we don't stop there. I think more spots for tomorrow because of that stronger south wind We actually max out in the 80s, even some mid 80s will be possible once again, especially for some of our western areas before the day comes to an end. A quick check of satellite and radar shows pretty much the same picture being painted we've seen all day, and that's a clear sky overhead. We were clear last night as well, but again, that south wind keeps us a little bit warmer overnight. By daybreak tomorrow morning, though, we could start to see a few more clouds roll in. And generally speaking, we'll see a few more clouds throughout the day tomorrow, but still a fair amount of sunshine for any outdoor plans you may have, like some Easter egg hunts with some kids. Still going to be a nice day to do that. No rain chance there. However, we're talking late in the evening at this point. Past 9, 10 o'clock, we could start to see a few showers and storms, isolated storms, that is, push through. Not everyone sees the rain chance, and it's not the greatest rain chance overall. The main impact we'll see across the board is that the clouds increase. So it will be much more of a cloudy start to Monday morning, but we should still mix in a fair amount of sunshine during the day on Monday as well, with another slight chance of a spotty shower to, again, not a great rain chance overall and definitely no rain chance for tonight as we are crystal clear through the next several hours but still a mild night looking at a low temperature of 56 degrees for the capital city a look at your storm track extended day forecast shows again a warm one for your easter sunday this year compared to last year which was a little bit on the cooler side but overall we do have a little bit of a cool down on the way we have our next cold front that actually pushes through on monday so some northwestern areas you may actually not break out of the 60s for high temperatures on Monday, but we're all overall cooler for Tuesday, starting off in the 40s, only maxing out with the 60s, with a slightly better chance of a few passing showers. Beyond that, we drive right back out and we get the 70s to return. So a 